And he was like, I'm going to raise these boys. And I, he didn't even do them like Joe. He was like, if y'all want to sing, y'all can. <laughs> he was like, y'all want to. <laughs> I don't care if you sing that. Don't make no This kid's so good that the, his kids have custody of uh, one of the his, Michael Jackson Michael kids. kids. Right. That's how good he raised his kids. <laughs> Listen, Tito is the shit. I mean, I need, I need, I don't have enough Tito Jackson merchandise in my house. And I'm, I need, go, I'm going as Tito the next time I come out for Halloween. I already got that, that, uh, that, that idea again. I'm going as draft a Dion. No, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, <laughs> but no, go to go to the, the baby. Let's talk about the baby. This alleged, uh, this alleged baby, this alleged rumor, and it's even it's funny when she was showing the picture. She's like, people think that you know my niece so and so is my daughter, and blah blah. And one, all the Jacksons look alike. Yep. Period. It just that's just how strong the genes are. Everybody looks the same, even with surgery. Everybody looks the same. They all get the same eyes. So the idea that one of her nieces and nephews looks like her or whatever isn't abnormal. It's typical in families. Period. But I love how she doesn't actually answer the question. Like there is no no. She doesn't. She never says no. It's right. a. Um, I would never have hidden a child. I would never hide a child from their father. Like all these things, but never, no, I never got pregnant and had this man's baby and gave it away. Like, and that's what the world was looking for is that plain, no, it just didn't happen. And she never she said, didn't give it. no, it's always like their roundabout answer. So the rumors aren't questioned at this point. Like it's, you, we still don't, we still don't know. And let's keep it keep it real. James DeBarge was so strung out. You could have gave him $50 and a bucket of chicken and he would have shut up and signed a disclosure. This, well, so here's the first something I saw the other day that somebody sent me. And so it's some <laughs> a girl who is James DeBarge's daughter is like, no, Janet is my mother. Um, Bunny DeBarge is like, I remember Janet being pregnant. No, you don't. You don't know what you saw. They were all high. You can you can, all the debarges are unreliable sources. <laughs> unreliable. You are so true. And is Janet, so what did right. you say that um she she has an attraction to men who I guess struggle with drug addiction? And but then with Jermaine Dupree, she says she said Jermaine was a good guy. He wasn't addicted to anything. That's the bar. Like that's the bar that's been set. That's how <laughs> how did Jermaine pull Janet Jackson? He wasn't on drugs. And you know what's so funny is this lends the credit to Bobby missing with her too. Like on the Lola, like on that, on the, with oh, her yeah. saying that, you like, yep. she did kick it with Bobby. Like, you know, like that's immediately my thought. <laughs> that's the bar. That's how, that's how, that's how real it is out here. Yeah. Like, man, this is what the women are dealing with. That this, just don't be on drugs and you possibly kill somebody. That's it. That's where we are. That's, that's just don't be on drugs. You can get her. Period. But and, uh, um, so 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 with the baby, do y'all think that? I mean, honestly, is it a 50 50 hand talk hand hand coin thing? If that's his baby, that's this baby thing is true. I don't think it's true, but I feel like there's more to this story. There's there's something that happened in regards to a pregnancy that, and I think that they are very careful in what they say or don't say because they don't want to bring up something else so it could have she may have uh miscarried or something like that don't know but i do feel like because we just can't get that flat out no something there's something there but it's it's too much or it's going to cause too much pain to to deal with it something's something's not right i would have to agree i would have to agree with that i don't think that there's actually a physical child anymore I don't think that Janet Jackson has a daughter out here that Reeves raising and you know none of that. But I do agree that something happened. So I wouldn't be surprised if she was pregnant at one point, and you know, like she, like Stacy said, a miscarriage or took it to the clinic. You know, something happened around that time. So yeah, what, I would have what about you, Scott? You you you. Uh, no, I, I agree with everything, but. I do say Reby does look well equipped to raise a child. <laughs> <laughs> I would trust her with my kid. I would definitely trust her with my first Reby was raising over there. <laughs> yeah, she the oldest. Raised, she the oldest, oldest though, though, right? Yeah, she's the oldest. Yeah, she yeah, the oldest. Like and she got married at 17, 18, somewhere around there. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. She had to get the hell up out of that. But Reby was over there raising that raising them kids anyway. So yeah, Reby had absolutely 
raise uh, some old children. Not child, a problem. Right. She yeah. got it. I mean, Not we problem. stepped out with that centipede, and then her husband said, "You need to get home." Like, no. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. You had your little fun. Yeah, that's exactly. It. You had bring it on. Bring it on in. You cut your one little record. You cut your one little record. You need to catch a little record. You got to be on Soul Train. That's what you said you wanted to do, right? <laughs> you said you missed out on what your brothers and sisters did. You said you missed out on it. You got it now. We done. Say, come on home. Come, come on home. home. Somebody got to come over here and watch these kids. Hold on. Did Ruby ever come up with an album? I don't, I don't know. know. Did she? I feel like oh, there was an no. album called Centipede. I feel like that was oh, the album. album. Yeah, I'm Googling it now. Hold on. Did you come up with an album? I know. I mean, and, and for the record, I think Centipede's a horrible song, but um, it was, it, people would love it. You know, she came out with four albums. <gasps> <laughs> the last one was a gospel album. Oh, oh yep. Yours faithfully. Yeah. That one was on uh, my, uh, J- Michael's re- label, MJJ. Are you tough enough? Eighty-eight reaction and centipede. She, she went. She sold three hundred thousand units on in eighty-eight. Ow! Yo, this no, Jacksons Jackson are powerful. Name. Hey, the Come Jacksons through. are powerful. That really That's sold three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't know that she was a widow. Yeah, he died a couple years ago. Her uh, husband. Mm. He's like, mm, mm. <laughs> how do you know? Mm. Mm. Dang, yeah, Reeb, okay, well, then Reeby, Reeby stayed out there for me. He let her come out every four years, it looked like. Every two, three, four years. <laughs> like, she was like, you said every two or three years, you can do your thing. That is funny. So yeah. what did y'all think about, like, the process of, uh, uh, put on here, um, process of her working with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, like, how she was kind of getting frustrated with them. And you like, yo, do you know you fin- they finna produce your joints? Like. I love seeing that. Yeah. yeah. I love seeing that. I love seeing them, um, just that that process in the studio, right? That to, just to be able to see, like, it, it wasn't always happy times. I mean, not that it was bad, but there's they, they're going to have those conversations and, and go back and forth and try to make some stuff happen and people cussing and all that. Because, like, when you mm-hmm. just over the years of just seeing them, you just think it was always magic, no matter what. Like, you walked in and what, the track was already there, and she sang. And hey, what's so funny, Stacey? Is Terry Lewis acted like you. He's like, I'm just leaving. Go get me a sandwich. Terry Lewis did a Stacey. He's like, I'm just going to go get me a sandwich. I'm gonna be back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was barking up. I was like, Yo, this is some Stacey stuff right there. Like, I'm gonna get I, whatever y'all do. I'm gonna get me a sandwich. I'll be back. You know, you said, I'm gonna be back. <laughs> you know, I will leave a situation in a minute and be like, All right, then. Well, y'all figure that shit out. I'm gonna go see if they got some wings out yep. there. <laughs> And, um, Jimmy seemed like he's the patient one. Jimmy seemed like he was the patient one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what was I right? Oh, like, um, let's say I put her and Jimmy Jam in the studio. Um, and I was laughing at her, him being like, you need to do this, you need to do it that way. And I'm like, that ain't Ike being like, sing the song like the way I told yeah. you. <laughs> sing the song. I, I know the song. I wrote the song, Jimmy. Well, you wrote the song, got the goddamn words. Like, they, I love. Um, again, seeing that. Um, also, we need to give Paula Abdul her flowers. Oh, no, no. I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking the same thing. It's written. I have it written there. Like, it's like, I mean, I knew at the back then, I knew that Paula Abdul did her choreography, but I think people don't really realize who Paula Abdul is. They know her. No, Some folks know her from American Idol, but they do not know. But she also was messing with Jackie Jackson. That's why she got the hookup to be around Janet, too. Hey, but hey, she ain't come in there uh, doing no dumb shit either. No, no, no. She look, she, she took her work. opportunity and she and she made the best of it. And look, what she was doing. Right. Like she can't, like, you know, folks would give somebody a job and they ain't qualified. And they not qualified. You're right. This is and, this is nepotism at its best. And, right. And she came in and did what the hell she had to do. And it's a... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, we, I think people forget that, or I'm say forget. Some people simply just don't know, or they don't want to give her that shine. And it's like you gotta, you gotta give it up for Paula Abdul. Period. Like those, those flowers need to be. I agree. Given to her, like when she was by the time she was on American Idol, um, people felt like like just watching her on there, she was kind of like ditzy a little bit, and always her and Simon going back and forth. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, I don't know. Like, there's a reason that she can be here to be a judge. 